It's that second order network. So when people say there are not enough women board members, what's really happening, like, let's digest that process. Mm -hmm. What's really happening is often, particularly in private companies where there is no Spencer Stewart in your process, right, who's presenting this yeah. like wide slate and doing the vetting for you, is most of the CEOs that we survey go to their investor networks. If your investor network is male and white, <laughs> Okay, your starting slate is likely to be more homogeneous than heterogeneous. So that's it's, so when we when we looked at the board list, we we're very we we're clear. We we're like, look, what's our job? Our job is to make the unfamiliar familiar. It's to expose Rick or any other company to somebody who's in his second order network. So maybe it's not his investor who knows this woman, but it may be a CEO who knows this woman who nominated into a press and. Rick didn't think to contact that CEO, right? So all we're really trying to do in some ways is create a very high-end, private, and highly vetted LinkedIn and say, this person is in your network. And so if you could see who'd endorse them, mm -hmm. right, and see yeah. that, in fact, yeah. five people you know nominated this woman, all of a sudden she becomes in your network.